Okay, so in this video I'll be talking about con pot again and uh, I will be testing out the server for S7 com server which is on port 10201 and um and I can ping my um windows box basically so anyway I wanted to go and try to see if I can find a um a 7 com exploit or maybe vulnerability I'm not sure so I did I think I think I did find it on github and there are seven comps take a look at at uh, seven and the thing we need to change is the port numbers by python uh, seven and also honeybot is logging in the background but uh, I don't have no module name I see a split okay so I do have to clone the project won't work without it I guess okay so I think if I run it again with I mean, uh, IS Python, ISF, that pi. Okay, how can we use this? Ah, oh, it's kind of similar to how Metasploit works. Um, so, like, for example, we would use use exploits.ps, I mean, slash PSLs, sign means, and then a 7, 300, 400, PLC control. And then I guess we just launched exploit as exploit. Yeah, run. Run module target is still alive. Okay, and then we set our targets. Okay, simple enough. Okay, it doesn't look like it worked correctly. Maybe I missed something. I'm not exactly sure because that's interesting that the target uh, address okay yeah it's right here okay i'll check my ip on thing again okay so there's nothing wrong with the windows server i mean uh pinging windows 10 so we got that but here that's the right address i don't know what's going on but i'll try to figure this out again maybe i missed something i don't see anything wrong but i'll keep trying Ah, okay, it says it's closed, that's why. Even though it is running, in fact, the service version has changed also. Okay, I'll try to see what's going on here. I found the command last time I ran it. The honeybot is logging in the background again. So it's interesting that how it looks like okay let's see. RSMS. So no we're no longer running on, oh probably the reason why I was getting this problem was because I ran my Docker command a little differently this time. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't look like I can use the same exploit on this tar on this port specifically. 
So I'll have to do more research on this. In fact, it's they're all closed except ACM Soda. So I'll take a look at that. It's on port 6969. Okay, speeding up this part. So it says it's a BitTorrent client or the most famous BitTorrent client. Uh, I have no idea. But I'll try to start, uh, I'll start a service scan for that. Okay, looks like I found a script for it. Seems really easy. This is like 2004. Unless it still works, I don't know. But I'll see if I can try. Hello? Okay, um, or I couldn't, I was not successful in that run, um, I'll try to restart the server, maybe, maybe something went wrong, but yeah, stay tuned for the next video in case I decide to put this up. Okay, it looks like I found the command that I used the last time because the one I was running um, did not start up the same services that that um, I was running. So I'll try it this way. And uh, if I can get something out of it, yeah, I'll probably upload this video. The other one, I'll probably leave it in our archive or something. But I think it's worth understanding that even if something goes wrong, or um, you're on su successful in certain attempts, then you can always go ahead and try again. You know, there's no, there's no point in trying to solve all the problems. But it's worth investigating. And another problem I have is I have a huge um, CPU usage and RAM usage just from running these three services at the same time. Well, I'm only running on my machine locally, VMware and OBS Studio to record these videos. And uh, I'm using my phone to, for the audio. So it's a little, it takes some time to uh, start up the machine and also it, it, it's just really slow. I mean, there's no other way to put it, really. I'm going to have to offload some of these um, virtual machines off of my machine. Probably onto another, like, a spare laptop or desktop or something. See, like, right now, my mouse is frozen. Okay, now I got my mouse back. Yeah, on Windows, it's frozen. <laughs> Yeah, I'll skip this part of the video. It's taking forever. No, well, that took a good three minutes to get it back. But anyway, I'll re I'll rerun the script I had yesterday, and it had the same um, like that six nine six nine four numbers there. I'll try to see if this works. Okay, so I'll just reset my VM again. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll skip this part again.